welcome back and let's pray. Great God, beyond all words, as we worship you this morning, help us to shape what we do in a way which does you justice. In you there is no conflict between power and tenderness. The birth pangs of creation are the way of your wisdom. Your love suffers crucifixion and is not defeated, restoring the world to life and hope. We do not deserve the hope which you have prepared for us. Measured by your ways, we get lost in the paths that we choose. But you are always ready to meet us, to welcome us, to guide us, and to lead us onwards. Overawed by the vastness of the universe, perplexed and battered by the events of our lives, we turn to you and find you waiting to meet us in the smallness of each day, eternity in each present moment. Great God, we worship you through Jesus and your Spirit's gift. But merciful God, we confess to you that we have sinned. We confess the sins that nobody knows and the sins of which everybody is only too aware. The sins that are a burden to us. And the sins that we have stopped caring about because we've got so used to them. We confess our sins as a church. There have been times when we have not loved one another as Jesus called us to. And we have not given ourselves in service for the world. Forgive us. Send your Holy Spirit to us. And give us power to live as by your mercy you have called us to live. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said, Has no one condemned you? Well, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. If we claim to have no sin, we fool ourselves and the truth isn't in us. But God in his great mercy cleanses us from all sin and helps us to live a righteous life. 